Hello and welcome and it's Friday so glad to be here with you today. Last week I shared with you my journey of stroke, my documentary from the time I got ill, went to the hospital at the ward uh, when I came back home for the recovery. Nine months of documentary of photos and videos of actually what happened. But today I just want to talk to you about the financial implication for stroke. I know um, for some of you who have gone through a hard time, there's a disease that comes to your house and there's a financial burden. I, I, I understand, I've been there. Uh, you are not able to work, not get source of income, the bills are there, medical bills, things that you, you are not incurring before now you're incurring. In my case, I remember in the early days, I, I had uh, a 24-hour nurse. Uh, who stayed with me for six months. Imagine that, 24-hour nurse, and that's a cost. 24 hours, so we ha so I had a nurse that could come for 12 hours and another one come for 12 hours because I really needed a special care. I had a throat therapist, someone who taught me how to, to eat, uh, to speak, you can imagine that, and they used to come on Saturdays, I had um, a, a counselor uh, because the stroke really affected my my mental being, and I needed someone really to help me get out of depression, just to accept the situation. And we had some sessions with her. Um, I also had a occupational therapy, the one that helped me with this hand to move. I had a physiotherapy that helped me with my leg. So in total, at least I had six specialists to help me uh, get to where I am today. And that included a lot of costs. Um, yes, you will say I had medical insurance, but that really ended at the hospital because at the hospital, I, I think I got a bill of one point something million for two weeks only. Um, we had we had an emergency fund we had built for six months me and my wife and that has been our practice but that was wiped away very fast because of the costs that taking care of someone who is unwell comes by and I think my wife because of she brought around my friends that really supported me to stand with me in that time uh, I, I don't think I could have made it without you but looking back, what if I didn't have that emergency fund, which was very helpful in, in, in taking care of the thing. Because I remember that time we had two house helps because I, I really needed care in terms of I, I needed special food, blended food uh, that needed someone to take care of it. I needed someone to wash my clothes. Uh, and this was not the nurse. The nurse was doing something specific. And you can you can imagine the kind of financial burden that was. And remember, I had a very small baby. Uh, he was four months old by then. My, my daughter was four years. She was going to school. I was not working. Um, of course, after the stroke, I could not work. I just worked after nine months. So you can see if I had a budget fund for six months which was not enough because of the the cost of the medical care and then three months what do i do because three months i'm not working and then after nine months at least i started working and that really helped me but what do you do when you're in that situation when the bills are there uh, you needed you need to be taken care of because you can't be left like that because the the faster you recover the better for you and the better for everyone but it really takes a lot and and friends came alongside um my my advice for you at this time for those who are well and for those who are not well is have at least six months emergency fund of your expenses uh for the rainy day you never know when that will come i didn't know that i'll get a stroke at the beginning of january i had big plans that was last year big plans but hey i got a stroke um, i had emergency fund it was good 
but it was wiped out because of the expenses that really needed for me to be where I am today. So I just wanted to share that with you. And if you have any questions, please let me know. And, and it's great to connect with you. Uh, and thank you for your messages. And I'm sorry for those who are going through a hard time. I wish you a very quick recovery. Just know you are not alone. I'm here to help you out. So feel free to reach out. And for those who are taking care of people uh, who are recovering uh, from an illness um, or any other kind of recovery, can be financial recovery, uh, these people need a lot of care. So give them care and tomorrow is going to be a brighter day uh, if you do what you need to do today. So thank you for listening to me. Take care and see you next week. Bye-bye.